Hey guys, in this video we're going to be going over value over time and how that plays into tempo and the flow of a match. So in Gwent there are a lot of cards with effects that produce a little bit of value every turn and cards with effects like those usually have pretty low tempo on the front end but then over the course of a long round they can end up generating more value than a purely greedy tempo play might produce. So in Gwent, playing cards and building your deck is often kind of a balancing act between going with cards that have potential to produce a lot of value over time or cards that produce pretty good value immediately. And when you're playing around, at the beginning of rounds, it's often good to play cards that will produce value over time because they'll have longer to produce their value if, to play, if you play them early in a round. So to start off with, I'm just going to do a pure, purely proactive play. But then on my next turn, I'm going to use this Redanian Knight Elect here. And this guy buffs two adjacent units every turn. So if I play him here, he's going to be providing me plus two value every turn as long as his armor isn't removed, which it hasn't been. So I get plus two every turn right now. And now we have an opportunity to play another value over time card. The opponent is only ahead by one point, so I only need to produce two points to get ahead. And this weather card, Ragnarug, will do damage on all three rows. So this will keep us ahead, and it will apply a very strong value over time effect to the opponent, where if he's not able to clear this, the value from this weather and our buffing is going to put a lot of pressure on the opponent, make it hard for them to get ahead. Even though these cards weren't super high tempo on the front end. You one of us or not. So he removed that armor, so this buffing isn't happening anymore, but we got another one. So we get more buffing and we're getting more damage over time. The storm is coming. Let's enjoy the weather while we still can. It seems like he wants to remove our armor a lot, but in this situation, we've got a bunch of units lined up. Maybe it's time to stop worrying about value over time and try to drop the hammer on this round make a big tempo play, and try to get ahead by enough so he can simply pass and make him deal with our value over time if he wants to keep playing into the round. So we'll do this Commander's Horn. That puts us ahead by a lot of points, and he's still taking damage. Okay, so the opponent just passed. Uh, the opponent realized that between the super high tempo Horn play and this value over time that's ticking on him every turn, it was going to be really hard for him to catch up. So he smartly passed the round there, because it, he probably would have had to play at least two or three more cards to catch up, which would have been a big overcommitment on his part. So that shows you the power of value over time cards. It, they're slow on the front end, but if you can get them established without falling too far behind, you can put yourself in a situation like this where it makes it very hard for the opponent to catch up, especially if after you've established the value over time, you hit them with a big tempo push like that 20-point horn there. All right, in the next video, we're going to go into our last topic on tempo, which is going to be win conditions and finishers. See you then.